Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea and this is a blemish. Listen, I just woke up and I wanted to film a video. So stop judging me. Speaking of judging me, we're reading some mean comments today. Just so you know, these videos, God, can you tell I'm tired? I feel like you can really tell I'm tired. These types of videos are just to kind of show you the like not great side of YouTube, but also just because I like to troll the trolls and I think it's funny. It's always best not to engage with these types of people. They're not rational, they're not logical, they're delusional. So let's roast some people who think they're roasting me, shall we? T Creative says, Chelsea, why, why, why? The frumpy, dirty sweatshirt, gross, why? The video that this was commented on, I wasn't wearing a frumpy, dirty sweatshirt. I was, it's a, it's a queen, clean, queen. It is a clean tie-dye sweatshirt. I can wear whatever I want. All right, I'm not wearing pants right now. How does that make you feel? Are you okay with that? I'm wearing a Wu-Tang shirt. Do I know any Wu-Tang songs? Maybe like two. They're not gonna like that I have, yeah, Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel on my chin. Oof, they're not gonna like that. You are poisonous. <laughs> you got that right. You don't criticize the work that others do, but if you criticize my Nate girls so much, it's because they have some effect on you. Take classes on how to be a better person if you need it. Oh, and you look very plastic. I was about to say, sorry that I have clear skin. What? <laughs> sorry that I have good skin and that I'm attractive. Like, what classes teach you to be a better person? Yeah, I, you're right. I am poisonous. Better watch out. I don't know, man. LOL. I know it's just your opinion and reaction video, but it gives off girl who didn't get invited to friends reality show, so I make a bitter video about it vibe. This, this person does not, does not understand how to evaluate vibes. Lord, if I gave off that vibe, yikes. Imagine that the only reason that you could be giving an opinion on something or giving commentary on something or making fun of something is because you're jealous and want to be included. I can guarantee you, I do not want to be in a house full of scamming women who are screaming and wearing millennial pink constantly. I don't want any part of that. For someone who claims to be a social justice warrior, I've never claimed to be that. I don't want to be that. You'd think you would have been a bit more careful with language. As a grandmother, I found this incredibly insulting, not to mention ageist. A lot of women in my demographic need to know this information too. And I'm afraid you may have really turned off a lot of us. Old people, deserve respect too. You could have made your joke without making a whole group of women feel less than. Just my two cents. I loved your Vita up to this point. I will be moving on to someone nicer where I can get the information we deserve to have without being the butt of the joke. You say you'd always be willing to apologize. Now might be that time. I'm quite sure that I wasn't the only grandma offended. Food for thought as you like to say. I don't think I've ever said food for thought, so calm down, Nana. You would think that I was punching someone's grandma in the face or like being ridiculously ageist and being like, F old people, they're crusty and they smell. No, I've never said that. However, this comment was on a community tab post. I think I put like a screenshot of a Facebook comment and I was saying like, y'all, the Facebook is the Wild West. The comment sections over there are so funny and they really are. This lady commented on my video and she's like, how do I block you? How do I block you? And I responded saying something like, you can't. Or I think that was the first thing I commented. Then I thought of something funnier. And then I responded that instead. And on my community tab post, I said something along the lines of like, somebody's nana something like that asked me like how she blocks me on, on facebook girl what <laughs> literally a joke and saying that this someone is someone's grandmother is not insulting that's like me saying like i'm someone's daughter i am or i'm someone's sister i am that lady is someone's grandmother it was on her profile calm down if you're if you're gonna be that sensitive get off my channel please you God forgive you. I appreciate that. It's interesting because they're subscribed to me. So it's like, what are, what are you doing? Katie Joy is a true journalist. You will probably delete my comment and that's fine. Keep on silencing anyone who disagrees with you. I don't silence anyone who disagrees with me. If you're being annoying, sure, I can delete your comment, block you, whatever. I can also do whatever I want on my channel, but I'm not going to like block someone or whatever just because they don't agree with what I'm saying. There's a difference between not agreeing with what someone's saying and then just being annoying. I responded to that one. So what's interesting is that you can see that she edited it to like say something better because when you read my response to it, it like doesn't really make sense. And she was basically saying like, stop being a
you know, she's like bigger than you, whatever. And you can see that I edited mine too, but the only reason I ever edit mine is to like add in something or for like a like a typo or something like that. Like that's really the only time I ever edit my stuff. I'm not gonna change it so that like it looks like it looks different. Anyways, anyone who understands YouTube understands that views are more important than follower account. My engagement rate is far better than hers. I'm not silencing anyone who disagrees with me. What does her follower account have to do with her integrity or the quality of her content? You want me to quit being a and try to be a genuine and truthful journalist. I'm not a journalist, you weasel. <laughs> A good journalist would verify sources rather than twisting words and drinking on live streams while defaming people. Freedom of the press and freedom of speech, but not without consequences. You have no idea what you're talking about. And she thinks it's hilarious, said, good to know KJ has three times the subscribers than you do, and you can enjoy your views all day. I don't know, like, what, 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 what it? As you watch your video continually over and over again, like we don't know how YouTube works, but you clearly don't know how YouTube works because if you're watching your own video over and over and over again, YouTube doesn't register those views. So that wouldn't count. So yeah, you clearly don't know how YouTube works. That video has over 100,000 views. You think I'm sitting here watching it 100,000 times? Like, followed you for about a year because I was interested in your stance on MLM, but I got burned. I got burned by my pastor's wife in a skincare line called Bellamy, and I wanted to know what you would say about MLMs, but you thrive on drama, and I couldn't. With your biatch attitude, it's very off-putting for a YouTube commentator. So I unfollowed after watching two or three of your videos. Apparently... I'm not the only one. Katie Joy is 250,000 for a reason. Try again. I don't want to be like subscribers don't matter. Y'all matter. You clearly matter. In terms of like monetizing, it's in, you know, AdSense, views are more important. Yeah, she said that she unsubscribed, but that that little that little badge, that means that she is subscribed. So, um, if you are all kind to her for once, stop the jealousy and the criticizing. The cult affiliations wouldn't have spotted her. Cults target people with money or have wealth in families, not always. And it really only works on very utterly lonely people that don't have one genuine caring friend in the world. That's absolutely false. She's been through a lot in her whole life before YouTube and through YouTube. Quit thinking of ways to hurt her and take from her. Destroying her. That will be better for y'all as well. Grow a heart. How much you know about like modern medicine, but I'm pretty sure we can't grow a heart. This isn't Grey's Anatomy where we're growing or 3D printing artificial hearts. Imagine thinking thinking that someone on YouTube covering a story and telling people what has happened is criticizing and being jealous and being hateful. And then I or other people who maybe don't like someone are the reason that they got taken advantage of by a cult. Some people should not use the internet. Alex Wolf says this clown is just dissing for clout. Well, I am a clout demon, so you're right. Oh, so this person is all over uh, Reddit just spreading the craziest Said careful with Cece. She's a racist that got caught wearing brown face. That ever happened. She's also harassed this weird woman named Jessie Ward for months. That never happened. Until Jessie, good luck with a lawsuit, threatened to sue her. She did send me a cease and desist, but I started making more videos about her after that. Didn't sue me, so that never happened. She also doxed a couple of her haters and cannot take any form of criticism. False and false. She's always policing other people's bodies. No, I've said multiple times. I don't care what you do with your body. Get surgery, don't get surgery. Lose weight, gain weight. Who cares? It's your body. I don't I don't care. But God forbid someone mentions her. Her and without a crystal ball are very similar. Also, Cece stalks anywhere that her name is mentioned. She's also extremely rude to her viewers. No, I'm not. Have fun without a crystal ball. Also an anti-vaxxer. What? They also tried to be like, well, I got you in a lie and like sent me a picture or like in one of the next comments did like a hyperlink thing to my like voter registration where I'm registered as a Republican. And it's like, you you realize that just because you're registered as something doesn't mean you have to vote as that thing. And it's like, also, who cares? <laughs> If you're going to try to demonize someone for who you think they vote for when you don't have any clue, um, and also it's none of your business, and who you vote for is none of my business also, I don't care. It's very libertarian of me, I know. That's that's weird. No one should listen to anything you say in that case. Also, she's an anti-vaxxer. I've gotten ev like every vaccine 
that I was able to over the last 31 years. That Gardasil, girl, I was first in line. <laughs> and the chicken pox one, and obviously, you know, Schmovid as well. But but sure, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely, definitely an anti-vaxxer, definitely Hispanic fishing. Like, what? Oh, Lord. Next, that person's going to be like, her last name isn't really Suarez. She, like, did that to try to appear Cuban. Oh, did you do your research on Dr. Sebi before you disclaimed the things he worked on? You have spoken to people that have been cured by his work before you disclaimed it? No one's been cured by his work, so no. I think you should do a little more research before you disclaim all that he has done. And and then my favorite username ever, which is Goofy Dumb Goofy, said, he claimed he cured AIDS. Stop it. (laughs) I was expecting so many more comments in regards to that video in defense of, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses in a cult, blah, blah, blah. But the Dr. Sebi people, oh my God, that is a whole cult on its own. Like maybe I should do a, you know, a a deep dive on him. It's, it's wild. I mean, I kind of did, but it's like, good Lord. It's truly... Truly a conspiracy theory and truly insane. LMAO. Pyramid schemes are illegal and MLM is not anything like a pyramid scheme. You should probably ask the FTC. Imagine a company that pays people to do their own advertising instead of endorsing a celebrity who already makes millions of dollars to endorse a product that they actually don't use. You seriously, you guys and your comments are freaking hilarious because you guys are so misinformed and uneducated. Hey, Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Um, multi-level marketing companies don't pay people to do their own advertising. They pay them for sales of products and getting people to, you know, be recruited into the business. They don't pay you to do your advertising. So you're misinformed and uneducated. Like, what are you talking about? So are you a doctor? How do you know seven day fast is unsafe? Because you can't just not eat for seven days straight. Yes, you said you was not a health coach. So let's hear from the health coaches instead and stop hating. Let's not hear from the health coaches. How about that? Because a health coach means nothing. The title health coach, absolutely nothing. But let's talk to nutritionists, dietitians, actual doctors. Let's hear from them. And guess what we did? I consulted with a few of them, a few of those types of people prior to making that video about a seven-day liquid fast scam. And then also, baby girl, if you look through the comments... Miss Talissa, if you look through the comments of that video, you would see that there were so many people who were like, um, yeah, don't do this. That's so unhealthy. That will destroy your metabolism. Clearly, you're not a health coach either. I mean, you might be because, again, the title health coach means nothing. Good old Dumpy Dump. I love you, Dumpy Dump. You're my favorite. He said, you speak like you're contributing life-changing content to this ugly world. No, I don't. You're not. I know. (laughs) It's hate and judgment about something you failed at. I didn't fail at a multi-level marketing company. I never tried. 99% of your subs failed at it. (sighs) To otherwise, they wouldn't be in your chat complaining and listening to you complain about it. I'm not complaining. Y'all did MLMs. If you were successful, you wouldn't have a problem with it. LOL. As for Katie, oh God. As for Katie, Katie Joy, I'm assuming, she's doing better than you. No, she's not. Absolutely not. LOL. Not sure why you think your poop don't stink. My poops do stink. People like you in Molly Go Lightly smell the worst. I mean, I think I smell pretty good. I smell like Burberry London or Baccarat Rouge. Now, past history counts unless you like them. This video sucked and so does your attitude. You said when you delete comments, it's because you're not ready to listen. I I never said that, actually. LOL, LOL. Oh, well, you delete a lot of honest commentary. You don't have a lot of subs to be talking like you have a lot of subs. 89,000 is a lot of people. You jumped at the opportunity to weasel your way into a hate campaign. Great look. Great job. Thanks. I think I look great too. Crystal Lawrence said people like you are the problem. It could literally be trolls making them comments to ruin her life slash reputation slash income. Regardless, I went and looked myself and didn't see anything wrong on that account. That girl will never see those comments, just like your MySpace page pics. She very well could see them. I mean, if she gets older and Googles herself, yeah, she could. Weird. I wish I could see my MySpace page pictures. 
This is so middle school. She's more popular than you. You're being ridiculous. And my response was, this is a great example of a straw man fallacy. It's hilarious that she's like, this is so middle school. And then says something that is so middle school. Like she's more popular than you. I also have more credibility. And I do think I'm just a better person in general. And I'm better at my job and create more quality content. Your disclaimer is so ironic because all you are doing is inciting hate. No, I'm not. Your entire comment section is full of projection and ego mind trips. Nope. For the purpose of consumer education, this is so funny. You have not researched the science. Are you aware that the earth gives us ions when in direct contact with what? The earth? Aren't we always in direct contact with the earth? You mean like the ground? Do you even know what ions are? Do you? Or at what frequency Nikola Tesla rocks and precious stones vibrate? Girl, did you know that Nikola Tesla was like obsessed with pigeons and like wanted to like molest pigeons? Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah, he might have been a genius, but he was a freak. Just like most of those people. You seem really sad deep down. I'm doing great. Maybe you need to drink some water that isn't stealing your electrons and stand barefoot in a garden so you can heal. I lived in the woods for six months straight. Like, I've drank water and in a hole and, like, probably eaten more dirt than, like, anyone. I'm fine. It sounds like you need to go to therapy or someone just needs to, like, shake you real hard because you sound like an idiot. Kangen water and their filters and that, like, alkaline water, whatever, that it's not going to get you more hydrated than any other type of water. It's not how this works. Like, it's not how it works at all. So just, wow, what a snotty bee you are. This came up as a suggestion, so I gave you a try. Turned off as soon as you made the comment about your dog because he lives here and you don't. Unnecessary and it made you look a bit unhinged. So I will not get sucked into your pettiness. Imagine me saying, you're going to hear snoring. This is my dog snoring. And I'm not going to apologize for it because he lives here and you don't. The only reason I say that is because I used to apologize for it and be like, guys, you're going to hear some snoring. I'm sorry. Sometimes people can't even hear it, but I got a bunch of comments where people were like, don't ever apologize for Wiggum. Like, don't apologize for him. So I started working that in in my little like bulldog snore disclaimer and started saying, I'm not going to apologize for it. He lives here and you don't. And it's true. Imagine thinking that that is rude. Like what is happening to the world where people think that that's rude? Good Lord. Are we in junior high? If you don't like her, just move on. Seeing this crap gets old. Do you not understand what my channel is? Why are you here? Not a hit piece. I'm a fan of no one. I don't know you from Adam, but please, this is 100% a hit piece. No, it is not. Absolutely, it is not a hit piece. Why are you rude to subscribers? You wouldn't be successful without them. I have unsubscribed and won't watch your channel again. Mary, I doubt you were ever even subscribed. I'm not rude to my subscribers at all. Do y'all know how many times in live streams when someone asks me a question and I just answer it? You know, no fluff, no throwing up glitter or farting butterflies and they'll ask me a question. For example, someone asked the other day, would you make a video on this or will you make a video on this or blah, blah, blah. And I, I was like, I don't really want to do that. Is that me being rude? No, it's me literally answering your question. And listen, this is going to be hard for you to understand, maybe. Hopefully not. But if me giving you an answer without any weird tone, without any passive communication, me just saying, no, I don't want to do that. If you see that as rude, get off the internet. <laughs> go go work on yourself please like that is, that's ridiculous i thank them constantly and i understand that without my subscribers without my viewers with let I me mean, i wouldn't be able to do this full time i thank them constantly i'm very very grateful so mary thank you for seeing yourself out oh my god you're so gross how about shut your mouth and let anyone else do whatever they want there's a yoga technique in India and it literally cured cancer and people who were dying just by doing that yoga. And that organization has lots of herbal medicine opposite to the lab medicine that helps with so many illness. Just gross when one woman is trying to put down another woman. Well done. No apple chair tree. You want to know what's gross is when anyone but more specifically women, use that phrase that women are tearing down women in order to justify them being a piece of shit. I don't care what you identify as. If you are being 
I'm most likely going to call it out if I want to. Doing yoga is not going to stop cancer cells from growing or multiplying or anything like that. You are rude and condescending. Trying to educate people and expose MLMs as a scam is one thing, but you asked this woman to have a conversation. You wanted to do it through text so you could articulate better and then mock her for repeating what she says in a condescending tone while giving dirty looks when she says something you don't like. I can't control my face. I really can't. I try to. I just can't. Also, I, I make reaction videos, so do you want me to just stare at the camera? And just not, not move? And it isn't weird that she said she lost her job to someone who isn't legal to work in this country. She's telling you her story and what led to her joining an MLM and why she's still why she's still doing it. And it's be, she she's brainwashed. That's why she's still in an MLM. You aren't trying to have a conversation. You are doing exactly what you accuse them of doing on these conversations. Girl, I wasn't manipulating her. It was funny when you said that you haven't made fun of the way someone looks in nine months. You said it's not personal. And then you get personal by by mock someone's voice or commenting on what they're wearing. First of all, I can say that your shirt looks dumb. Who cares? You can change the shirt. That's like, that's something you can change. I don't care. Also, when I'm talking about someone's voice, it's not like people can't change their voice. Can actually technically, but I'm, I'm not making fun of your voice. I might poke fun at, at like the way that you are phrasing something or what you are saying. Or if you are purposely putting on like that vocal fry on social media, I, I don't know, just like a lot of these Monet girls are very like nasally and it makes me want to just cut my ears off or just remove my eardrums rather. And a lot of them don't talk like that in person. However, a lot of people on social media, they're vo like they will sound more nasally or they will sound more raspy because they talk so much. It's crazy. Uh, this girl's annoying and she can suck it. So that is it for the mean comments that I've collected over the last um, few, few weeks. This one wasn't as like crazy as last time. Maybe it's because I'm like tired right now. All right though, y'all, I'm gonna go take this off or maybe just like keep it on for like six more hours because we have date night tonight and I'm like not trying to grow another chin. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember, the people who are going to comment these types of things on your videos, on your posts, wherever, they don't know you. And then also, they're not rooted in reality. You know, they're not happy with themselves. And I know it's kind of annoying. And I've always said that too. Like, just because someone's being a d to you doesn't mean that they're not happy with themselves. But if you're going to like go this far and say like the most just outrageous to someone online who you clearly do not actually know, then yeah, <laughs> like it's a little bit different. So have a great rest of your day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. I hope you have a great September and I will see you in my next video. Bye.